you won't get Hey everyone, it's SoCrafty AD, and today I'm going to be doing a tour of my American Girl art studio. So, there was a tour of it in my house tour, but I decided I'm just going to do a more depth one, so let's get started. Okay, so I'm not filming on a tripod just because the art studio is kind of high, so I'm just filming without one, but let's get started. Okay, so just to kind of show you where the art studio is, it's located on top of the bathroom and Finley's room, which is on top of Lila's room and Regan's room. So it's all the way up here. Okay, so we're going to start in this corner of the room. So first over here I have this um, music stand, which is from the American Girl Violin set. And then on top I just have two books that also came with the violin. Behind there, there's this shelf, which um, is from the thrift store and it's kind of it's wood and I cover the outside with duct tape. Okay, so starting at the bottom, I have this little dish, which I made out of clay, like, the longest time ago. And I have this little roll of tape, which actually has tape on it, and this is from Michael's. Beside it, I just have these two books, which are from the American Girl Doll Art Studio book. And beside it, I have this little movie clapper thing, um, which is from Doll Star. Okay, so the next shelf just has some money. I don't actually know why. And beside it I have a stapler and this came with the little tape thing over there, also from Michaels. And here I just have some books which I made with cardboard and covered it with pieces from a magazine. Okay, so on top I have this little vase which has some flowers on it and the vase and the flowers are both from the thrift store. Behind it I have this little easel which is from the thrift store I think and I have this little painting. And the canvas is from the Doll Art Studio book. I just painted a little picture on there. So that's that whole shelf. Okay, so over here I just have this little banner thing that I just made out of scrapbook paper and string. And I just like taped pieces or little pictures that I... There goes the meatloaf. Anyways, I clipped these little pictures on that I printed off the computer just to kind of look like they're drying and it's just made with a bunch of different colored scrapbook paper. Okay, so here we have Miss Regan, and she's sitting on this giraffe print beanbag chair that I made, and it's stuffed with rice, so yeah, she's just sitting on that. And here is Meatloaf, he's the guy that just fell. So yeah, that's over here. Okay, so beside Regan, I have this little easel, which is from the Doll Art Studio book, and it's just made out of cardboard. But I put it on here anyway, and on top there's this little sketchbook, which is also from the Doll Art Studio book. Next section is like the art supply section. So starting over here, I have this little counter or little shelf thing, and I really don't know what it was. It has like these little indent things in there. I don't know what it's supposed to be, but I just put cardboard on top of all the shelves so it could hold things because I thought it looked super cute. Okay, so starting down here, I have this pot from the thrift store. And next shelf, I also have another pop from the thrift store and these art little textbook things that I just made by printing a picture off the computer. And they're just covered in cardboard. This shelf down here has some more books which are just made with magazines and cardboard. And I just have this little bundle of pipe cleaners and these mini roller duct tape that I made with cardboard and I just like covered them in cool prints of duct tape. Okay, so this next shelf has a color wheel chart in the back, this little vase, which I made and it kind of sucks, but that's okay. I have these two uh, art textbooks and this other little notebook. Okay, so here's the top portion of the shelf. Starting over here, I have this um, little cup thing. Okay, so these paintbrushes I just made out of like some doweling and paint. Over here I have this um, canvas which I painted with oil paint and over here I have this little pot which I also made in art class and just has some adorable little polka dots on it. Okay so next to that I have these little pencil crayons which I have no clue where I got but they actually work. Here I just have this little to-do list and another little pottery thing which I made forever ago and it just has these little markers in it. So here's um, an overview of like the art wall. So like I said, I showed you this painting, but over here I just have this little um, word splash thing of just some art words. Here I have this color wheel, which is from the American Girl um, Art Studio set. 
up here I have this poster which I just printed off the computer and it just has like some art things on it. Here is a painting that I painted and the canvases, um, this one and the sunset one are both from the Dull Art Studio and this one just has a picture of a sunset on it. Over here in the corner I just have this clay pot and this flute that I made from my Froggy Stuff tutorial so yeah. Okay so here's the next little half of the room. This is like the easel part and then I have a table back there. So starting over here I have this easel which is like a shorter easel as you can see. I just extended it with some espresso sticks and I added this little shelf to the middle and painted it white. This painting is just a canvas that I painted with some oil paint and just did some random colors on it. Back there I have this beautiful mirror which is from the thrift store and this really cool like vintage star shape and I really like it. Here we have a Willow painting. She just has this little paintbrush, which is an old makeup brush from like a little kid makeup set, and it fits them perfectly. So I'm just going to move her out of the way so I can show you the rest. So here's another little art corner. So this little desk thing, I just kind of made with like some um, paper rolls and doweling and cardboard and paint. I think it looks super cute. And here I just have this little stool, which is made from a My Froggy Step tutorial. And it just has this really cool sparkly fabric on top. Okay, so now for actually on the desk. Starting over here, I have this huge canvas, which is from Dull Art Studio Book. And it is just sitting on this little easel, which is probably from the thrift store. I'm not really sure. Um, here, I just have this little art box, which just has a bunch of stuff in it. So it just has this um, little paint palette, some paint brushes which I made that I'm just like doweling and duct tape and this box of pencil crayons and the box is from the Doll Art Studio book again and this little container was just made out of paint and some popsicle sticks. Beside over here I just have this little clay thing which looks pretty bad but whatever it's an art room and back here I just have this little shelf with some My Froggy Stuff paint which are printables from her blog and on the table I just have this piece of fabric that I just cut out and has like little polka dots on it. The last part of the art room is this little um, artwork wall and most of these pictures are just from my Froggy Stuff's blog that I printed out so like all of these but this one and this one I just did with some pastels and I just um, put them on the wall and I think it looks so cute. So that is my full American Girl art studio and I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and comment down below your favorite part of the art studio and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!